What's up everyone? I was doing my bar unboxing haul and I noticed, I was like, oh my gosh, I have all my stuff for Ipsy and all my stuff for BoxyCharm this month that I never got around to filming because it was just a crazy month, like earlier in the month with Riley. So I have them all here. We've got all the levels of them. Very stoked to see what we have. We're gonna do like a battle of the boxes, kind of see which one does really well this month and you guys get to see them all in one video. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this format or if you wanna see this over on YouTube. I'm just gauging, kind of figuring out like how should I do these again? But yeah, just leave me any recommendations or what you guys want in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think is the better box. Is it the Ipsy boxes or the BoxyCharm boxes or is it Ipsy Glam Bag or Ipsy Glam Bag Plus? All that fun stuff. There's so many types of tiers these days, but let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the Ipsy Glam Bags first. So as you guys know, I get two Ipsy Glam Bags. One is supposed to be skincare, one is supposed to be makeup. I have to say, I was really looking forward to the bag this month because when I saw the marble and the blush tone zipper on their Instagram, I was like, oh my goodness, just speak to me. This is everything. It's so aesthetically pleasing. But in this first bag that I got is a Bella Pierre Cosmetics, and this is a lipstick in Ruby. So this is just a red lipstick. We get Bella Pierre quite a bit in the glam bags. They've been here for years, so it's just a very classic red lipstick. Oh, it even has something on it on the inside. What? Look at this. It's like, do you see that? I think I'm actually even gonna pull out my video because it's, I don't know. Oh yeah, you can easily see this. Look at that. I just, why are you on there? I literally just opened you. Oh, all right. It's like Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipsticks all over again. <laughs> I'm gonna hold off on this. It's like a piece of string. I don't know. I'm gonna hold off on even swatching that or using it, but that's from Bella Pierre right there. So that's kind of like a, uh, but oh, we have Pure though. I like Pure. So this is their Golden Medium 4-in-1 Press Mineral Makeup. I love this stuff. This is their powder. It is so good. They've had this out for years. I've used this as a powder for years. It is an amazing powder foundation. I actually really go to this one a ton when I don't feel like wearing a liquid foundation. I just wanna even out my skin tone. And it does wonders if you have like acne prone sensitive skin. I think it's really good. And you can even use it to top onto your liquid foundation to create more coverage. So this is really exciting to see this in here. I love it. And I highly recommend getting the full size, you guys. I think their powders are awesome. I believe they're still available in Ulta, so you can definitely check them out there. Um, next up, oh yes, I've got the Hemp's Original Herbal Body Moisturizer, Hydrate and Nourish. I love this stuff. These are great for travel. They're super hydrating. They smell bomb too. I'm actually gonna open mine up, yeah. Oh my God, you smell so good. Smells so good. But like I said, they are so hydrating and they just feel amazing on the skin. So they also have their card in here, which is like the clean slate card, tells you everything about it. The next thing that we got is the Aromatica Tea Tree Balancing Foaming Cleanser, which is going to be really nice if you have acne prone skin. Tea Tree does wonders. It's like kind of a natural form to fight acne. I love that. I love just good, simple um, cleansers. And then last but not least from Ofra Cosmetics. You guys know I love my Ofra Cosmetics team. We have a Nikki Tutorials Glow Goals Highlighter in here, and this is a full size highlighter which is great. Oh, I'm not gonna swatch this one because I actually already have it. So I will probably save this for a giveaway or for one of my friends that would enjoy it because I'm trying to do really well about not hoarding too much of the same products in my collection. But all in all, I think that was a decent bag. The only thing I really don't like is that there was something on my lipstick here. Not really excited about that. But I like the lotion, I like Nick Tutorials, I love this powder from Pure. Their, that powder is bomb. So I love the other products, it's just this lipstick, it's just not for me. So that was kind of a meh. Next up is my second glam bag, so let's see what this one is gonna be. I'm guessing the other one has got to be, so it's makeup and skincare, so I don't even know. But this one came with a brush, so we have a fan brush from Luxie, I love Luxie. This is 560 medium fan. I love their brushes, that is great. 
Let's open this up. Next up, we have the Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. It gently cleanses the skin, removes makeup, tones, and soothes. Soap and sulfate-free from Pure Elise. Gotta love Pure Elise. They have great products. Then we have... Ooh, a Real Her eyeshadow. This is incomparable. That's actually a really pretty eyeshadow. You guys know I love tones like this. This type of eyeshadow, it's a nice matte. It would actually be really nice just all over the lid and up into the crease. I think it would be beautiful and it feels like silk. It's like really, really smooth and easy to blend and very e even when you swatch it. So that I like, it's from Real Her. We get quite a bit of products from Real Her in the bags. Then we have a uh, Context Liquid Lacquer. I don't think I've ever seen this brand before. I probably have, I just probably don't remember but we have their liquid lacquer here, which is probably, it's either a liquid lipstick or it's probably a really opaque um, lip gloss. So this is Mad Love. It's really, like you guys know, this is my tone right here. This is my jam. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a very opaque lip gloss. Look at that. Oh, that color's really pretty. I really like that color. That's bomb. Okay, that's another win. Next up from Ciate, we have the Glow to Illuminating Blush. It's a skin brightening blush. I don't think I've seen this before. This is really pretty. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of, it's like a baked blush. Like, you know, those Milani ones? It definitely brings a nice like sheen to the skin. Look at that. That's really gorgeous. I would almost use this a little bit as a blush topper. So I would go in with like a matte blush and then lightly put this on the cheeks just to bring a little bit of glow to the skin. But I would be very light handed with it because I think you can get too glowy with it. But it's really, really pretty. Oh, I like that. The tone of it is gorgeous. So I believe that is everything in that bag. This one just says clean slate and it has this year I will. It doesn't even, my card. So this is my card in the other one and this is my card in this one. It doesn't tell me what I got in my bag. It just does it. I don't know. It gives me like a little section to write and like manifest for this year. I don't know. One, I think this one is definitely more so a makeup bag because I got only one skincare product, but I got more skincare products in my other bag. So maybe my other bag was a skincare one, but I don't count a highlighter as a skincare product or even a foundation as a skincare product. I mean, I guess foundation can kind of, like a BB cream can, but I don't know. But I'm guessing that my second bag is my makeup bag and my first bag is my skincare bag. I will look up on my accounts and I will have it pop up on the screen which one it was. So the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus bag is so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it how it's two-toned right here with the marble, this is everything. They did so good on this bag. And also it's like a total wristlet too. Like this is something I would totally have in my diaper bag and have this with me just like to put some essentials in it. I know diaper bag, you guys. I my I, I don't carry a purse anymore. <laughs> like I rarely ever carry a purse anymore. So this would be really nice because it'll make it nice and easy and convenient. So I like that. Um getting into the products, we have the Hana Lay lip treatment. Hana Lay is I remember we went to Hawaii and I saw Hana Lay everywhere, and I never heard of Hana Lay anywhere else here in the States until I saw it in an Ipsy bag. And so when I was in Hawaii, I was like, oh my God, Hanalei is like everywhere. And they had it like all over Four Seasons at the resort that we stayed at. But this is their lip treatment and I really love their lip balms. They're really good. I'm so excited to have a full size of this. I'm pumped. You guys know I get excited over lip products. Like that's just what, what I am, okay? Don't judge me. I got a full size of another Pure Elise product. It's a different one than my bag. This is their Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum. So hydrates intensively, firms, and brightens. I'm actually really excited to try this out. Like I have said previously in videos, I love new moisturizers, but I also love trying out new eye creams. I think they're so much fun to see how they're gonna work for my eyes, how 
my concealer is going to sit on top of them and all that fun stuff. So, and plus I love Pure Lease products. So very stoked about that. Next up we have Nature's Cartel, which I have never heard of, but very cute packaging right here. And this is their lipstick in gin and platonic. Oh, it's like a, it's like a balm, balmy type of, it's a lipstick, but it's an interesting form. It's like a cream, it's a cream lipstick. I feel like it was almost going to be like a balm lipstick, but no, it's pretty opaque and it's like a cranberry color. A way that I would apply this actually is I would dot it on my lips and then take my finger and pat it out to where it looks almost like a stain. I think that would be a really, really pretty way to wear it. Next up I have from Gold Faden MD, we have a doctor scrub. This is a ruby crystal microderm exfoliator. Oh, this is gonna be nice to exfoliate the skin. So I love doing exfoliators. You should exfoliate your skin one to two times every week. Trust me, you can see a huge difference when you apply your makeup. I can tell there is times where I'll be getting ready in the morning and I'm like, oh, I should exfoliate. But I'm like, no, it's okay. I just want to get ready and get going. And then I start doing my foundation. I'm like, oh my God, I need to exfoliate. Like I need to exfoliate now. So I will wipe everything off that I did and I will run to the bathroom and exfoliate my skin and then put my foundation back on and be like, oh my God, I really need to do exfoliate. <laughs> It's like, why did I just not do this? I could have saved myself so much more time. So explore your skin, you guys. So I'm excited to try out this one. I know that we've had this brand in the bags before, so I'm excited to try out a different product from them. Um, and then we have the Sugar Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner. So we just have a liquid eyeliner here. Let me open this one up. Ooh, the tip is really nice on this eyeliner. I like it. Oh my God, the flick. Twist and flick. That's what I'm getting with this. This is like really easy to use. Ah, I'm not even being like exaggerating on it. It's so easy to use. I really like the tip on this one. Okay, these liners are always so hard. I hate it when they do thick tips. Like when they don't give, it's just like, ugh, this makes it so hard. And what's also great here, look at a close up of my hand. It's not bleeding out at all. And that's another thing that I hate when I get a liquid liner. If it bleeds out, I'm like, oh, you're gonna be not fun to put on my eye either. So this looks like a really good liner. I know we've gotten products from Sugar before in this bag, but I don't think I've ever, try have I I don't think I've ever tried their liquid liner I don't know why I'm just it's not like resonating with me but it's a really nice liquid liner I'm gonna use this tomorrow I really like that it's it looks like it's gonna be really easy to use so I'm very stoked about that but that is everything I got in my glam bag plus they also have the same type of card here and it has all the products listed on the inside with the prices as well I don't know why the other car did not come with that. That's weird. It's gotta be a, a printing error. Has to be a printing error. But anyways, I'm actually pretty excited about this bag. Um, I'm very excited about getting the holiday full size of the lip treatment because this stuff is bomb. I know, I think this is the original one, isn't it? Yeah, it's gotta be the clear one because I know I've also gotten a color one from them and it was like really, really good. It was so pretty. It was like a pink color, but I love, I like the exfoliator. I'm super stoked about this liner. Comment down below if you guys have already tried out this liner. It looks really promising. I love Pure Lease products. This lip balm right here, or this lipstick from Nature's Cartel, I, this one looks okay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not like that thrilled about it. I the One way that I would use it is I would tap it onto my lips like a stain, but it's not something I'm like super overly excited about. But the other four products, I very much am so. And the, But the bag this month, you guys, they absolutely killed it. This is everything. I love this bag. All right, guys, we're almost halfway done. But now on to the Ipsy Ultimate real quick. I have been really enjoying the Ipsy Ultimate since I signed up for it. But the first two products that we have here are sheet masks. And you guys know I love sheet masks. We have the Yvette Daily Fresh Squeeze. And these, I don't know what flavor is what. Oh, Watery Green Grape right here and Soothing Leche right here. It says that the Soothing Leche is gonna help sensitive skin and it has coconut water and leche extract which has excellent skin soothing effect so it's gonna help soothe the skin. Then this one is going to really help bring moisture into the skin 
This is our booklet for the Ipsy Ultimate. Same aesthetic as all the other packages. Oh, so I love the Ipsy Ultimate bags, you guys. Like these, I wish this one was a little deeper, kind of like how this one was. <laughs> I love this bag. I've been using it for my makeup now and I'm obsessed. But I have to say, it's good that they're giving us a variety of sizes in here. Like these are gonna be great for travel. And again, for what you're getting, like usually these bags are so expensive at Target. So I'm actually really, really excited about this. And I love the aesthetic of this one. I love the fact that you also have the zipper up here. Oh, I don't know. I think Ipsy's killing with the bags. I believe that they were supposed to only be coming out with bags like every couple months or so. And then they were gonna nix the bags. And then now they're coming out every month. And I think that was a really good choice on their part because I love them. I love the bags. So anyways, next up we have an Essen Herb and this is the Tea Tree 90 Toner Pad. Ooh. So it's just like a little trial version of it because I think this is like what the full size would be is it would be in that jar. But you could like open them up and reseal because you get a few in here and try it out. So I'm actually really stoked about that. I'm now just getting over a breakout. I broke out really bad right here and right here, which I believe came from a primer that I tried out, which was no bueno. But next up we have This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. Fall asleep faster, naturally, and wake up refreshed. I am putting this next to my bed. I am using this ASAP, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is something that I need because I don't sleep at, I don't sleep well at all. So I'm gonna put this on my bed. It says, use at bedtime, help fall asleep more quickly and improve sleep quality. I need to keep this very, very far away from Joel because that kid, if he already falls asleep, like the second he puts his head down to a pillow, could you imagine how quickly he'd fall asleep if he smelled this? He'd probably just collapse right then and there. Yeah. Next up, we have the Pretty Woman Nail Polish. So we've been getting um, Pretty Woman Nail Polishes for some time. We have it in the color Don't Be Jelly. This is the shade. It's a really pretty berry shade. I would feel like this would be more of a fall shade. Oh no, this could totally go in the winter time and we're in the winter, so yeah. That's a good time for this shade. And then we have the Flesh. Ooh, the, the Flesh, this is their Touch Flesh Highlighting Balm in 120 Twitch. So this is what it looks like. Very stoked about this. I wonder what shade it is. I think I did medium for everything because I was self-tan at the time when I did all my things. So I think this is gonna be a little, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more golden. Oh, this is pretty though. It kind of gives you that golden hour look to the skin. I like it. I really like it. This is stunning and it feels it feels really moisturizing too. I wonder what the lighter shades are. I'm wondering if they have like a really pretty champagne shade because I would definitely want that one. Um, oh, I've gotten this one before. I'll save this for a giveaway because they actually sent this to me in PR. But this is the Sweet Chef Beet and Vitamin A Serum Shot. It refines pores, smooths rough, rough skin. These look great. I have yet to try them out. I have them in my little skincare bag that I like am planning on. Like I take little bits out at a time so I don't try out a ton, but this definitely needs to be on my list to try out ASAP, especially because it refines pores and it smooths rough skin. I need that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we have a Tarte lip paint here and this is in the shade Sis. So this is a little bit more of a darker shade than what I would tend to go for. Like this is totally not my cup of tea right here. I actually will save this for a giveaway, um, especially cause I also already have these. They sent me the entire collection. So I have all the shades already, but um, definitely not really my, my go-to shade. I would definitely go for more of like, you know, my mauves or my nudes. That's, those are my faves. Oh, we got a brush and this brush is from, oh, it's from Farah. Oh, I love that Farah went with the aesthetic of the glam bag. This is beautiful. This is their face brush right here. It's got that nice rose gold, the marble handle, the pink like cotton candy tip right here with the white end. You can use this brush for bronzer or for blush or tap or wipe off excess then blend it on whatever else you need. So I would definitely, like I would feel like this is so dense enough. This is dense enough to be able to use as even a foundation brush, to be honest, because it's pretty, pretty dense. I don't know if I would use it. I would use it for like a cream blush 
or like a cream bronzer. I would use it for a cream product just because it is pretty dense. Next up we have, ooh, we have from, I think you say it, Than? And it's their Eden Breeze Body Butter. It has a nano shisho, rose, and jasmine essential oils in it. it. Has vitamin E, all that fun stuff for moisturization. So that is cool. Ooh, I like it. Body butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Body butters are nice and thick and very, oh my gosh. The fragrance is kind of florally. So if you like floral scents, you would enjoy this. It smells good. It just smells really luxurious and it's nice and thick. I like body butters. They're my favorite to put on at nighttime. And then we have, we get a lot of hahava in the glam bags and this is their time to hydrate essential day moisturizer for normal to dry skin, hydrate, definitely something that I need. And I actually really like the ingredients that Ahava has. And it says that this is an Ipsy exclusive too. So definitely I'm going to be trying this out because you guys know I love trying out new moisturizers. One that I've been trying out is one that I got from my Sephora haul that I did. And it's the Biosense Gualane Omega Repair Cream. I actually used that today. It was really, really nice. I enjoyed it. It's a nice thicker moisturizer. Um, next up we have a Hey Honey product. And this is their Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel Off Mask. So I believe we've gotten these in the glam bags before. I've never tried it. Peel off masks are fun, but they're annoying at the same time because I can never get them off in one go. And you know how you try to get them off in one go? It's like a game and it makes me so mad when I can't. And then I have little pieces that I just can't get off. I don't know, is that just me? Comment down below if that's just me or if you're the same way. But last but not least, we got an awesome palette here and this is from The Balm and it's called What's the Tea? Icy Tea Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen The Balm in a while, you guys. I miss them. I think they need to start coming out in like an Ulta or a Sephora. I think that would be awesome. They would get a lot more, um, promotion there just so more people can see them but this is a pretty palette I love I'm loving the matte shades in here look at it really nice matte shades you got some fun pops of color you have a really big mirror which is great for travel or just doing your you know doing your makeup this kind of gray shade right here is really unique it's called latest scoop and the quality looks really nice oh yeah there's a swatch on my hand right there of that one. Let's do a shimmer. Let's see how their shimmer shade is going. This is He Said, She Said, and it's like a really pretty kind of periwinkle, like a light pink periwinkle shimmer shade. Look at that. It's like got a little, it's got a bit of iridescence in it where it's like got a shift of gold. It's really pretty. Honestly, even taking that and topping it onto one of their matte shades might be really pretty if you did that with your finger. That's nice. So we got a full on palette and they, oh, they even, oh my gosh, you guys, they even have an eyelid primer in here and a eyeliner right here. So if you have like an eyeliner uh, brush to use, you could totally use that. And then you also already have your primer for your eyes. So that's really cool that they have that all in one palette. I really like the products in my Ulta bag. The only one that I'm not like overly in love with is the lip paint, like I already said, just because it's not a color that I wear. It's not gonna be one that I gravitate to and I already have it in my collection. But everything else I'm actually pretty stoked about. I'm stoked about the sheet mask. I love sheet mask. And also this toner pads right here. These are gonna be great to try out. The brush I think will be really nice with cream products. Um, just, I think it's got a good variety in here and also having a good palette. I love the balm. So I'm really stoked about the ultimate. I also think the Glam Bag Plus was really good too. I definitely recommend checking those out, you guys. I, I don't know. I just, I think also what's really winning me over are the bags. The bags, like also the aesthetic of the bags lately, the designs of them have been really, really nice. So, so far, so good. But now we need to get into the boxy charms. All right, so for the first boxy charm, we're gonna start off with the smallest one that is the cheapest, and this is just the regular boxy charm. The first part that we have here is the Avant Eight Hour Radiant Renewal Sleeping Mask. So we have a sleeping mask in here, and it says that it reveals more youthful and beautiful skin overnight. It also helps tighten the skin and lessen the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Yes, we need this. I love Radiant Mask. I feel like they just bring a really pretty glow to the skin. And 
it says that this thing retails for $107. Holy moly, $107. You have got to be brightening up my skin so much by the morning time if you're worth $107. This is insane. Definitely have to try this out and see if it's worth $107, but wow. I've never heard of Avon before. I need to go check out their stuff. Next up, we have a Dr. Brandt product, and this is a 24-7 retinol eye cream. I'm guessing this is a little pricey too because retinol tends to be pricey, and Dr. Brandt is not an inexpensive skincare product, so this is also really exciting. This retails for $55. It says, all eyes are on you with this potent yet gentle, light-reflecting and age-fighting eye cream, a perfect combination of retinol and ruby crystals complex that gives your eyes the attention they deserve. Also, as a heads up, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, remember to stay away from retinol. Retinol is a big no-no to use. Um, next up we have the Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. I've never heard of this brand either before. It's got really pretty packaging on it. It's supposed to be volumizing and this room retails for $16. Oh my god, what the? I'm guessing the wand is, a, I could see my wand, this definitely being a thing with it being so crooked like that. But I can tell you this much right now, this thing looks like it's gonna be so clumpy. It looks like it's gonna be so clumpy on the lashes. I can't really fully say that's what's gonna happen because I obviously, I obviously have never tried it. But just looking at it, I feel like it's gonna get real clumpy real fast. But it's something that I would try out later down the line when I don't have lash extensions. I think the wand being like that is pretty cool because you know some people even bend the wand that way to help get the lashes and help curl them up, but it just looks really, I think it's also because I'm not a huge fan of volumizing mascaras. I like lengthening and I like the spiky ones a little bit better because they're less likely to clump up on you. All right, so next up we have a Skin & Co Roma product and I have definitely seen this brand before. This is the Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gommage and I, okay, I think we've had this in the glam bag and we maybe, maybe I've seen it in Boxy charm as well, but I feel like definitely the glam bag. So we have another exfoliating product, and like I said earlier in the video, make sure to exfoliate your skin. So that is cool. We got a lot of this is all skincare. It's all skincare, but two products. I got a I got a concealer. That's it. It's all skincare. <laughs> what? Okay, well, we have Pretty Vulgar. I like Pretty Vulgar, and we got their concealer, under eye concealer. This is something that I would definitely use if I was self-tanned. Oh my God, this is too dark. I think you're supposed to pick your shade. I don't think I ever picked my shade, to be honest. I don't think I ever went on there and did it, so I can't blame it for this, because this is gonna be way too dark for me. Even if I'm self-tanned, it's still not gonna work. It worked for covering up like blemishes or something, but I can't use it to brighten underneath my eyes. Wow, it feels good though. It actually feels really moisturizing. It's just the shade, that's on me though. I should have went on the site and selected my shade because I think that's what you were supposed to do. So this box was pretty much a dud for me <laughs> because it was basically skincare and the two makeup products in it, I can't even use, which I know the concealer one is my fault. That's a bummer. But the volumizing mascara one, I'm not that thrilled about, to be honest. So there's that. Can't use any of those. Um, I can't use a retinol eye cream either because we're planning on trying here soon and I am being super cautious. I don't want any of that stuff on my skin when I'm trying to conceive. Then we have a eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask, which I think will be really nice. It's a $107 sleeping mask. So let's see how this one goes. I'm pumped for that one. And then also this is a very reasonable size for an exfoliator. So I'm excited to try that out. So really there's only two products in here that actually work for me. So this was pro this is the biggest dud out of all the boxes so far. <laughs> so uh, let's open up the next one. All right, so now on to BoxyCharm Premium and let's hope that this one is better. Oh my God, okay, all right. I'm pumped for this one, you guys, because first off, we got the Farsali Liquid Glass. This is the Radiant Serum. I have yet to try this out and it looks so beautiful. It looks absolutely so beautiful. Oh my goodness. 
Radiant Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. This is going to be so nice to try out. I love their Rose Gold Serum. I use that underneath my makeup, especially when my skin is so dry. Like, it's it literally transforms my skin. So I'm very excited about the, the look with glass here. So that's awesome. We got full size of that. Oh, no. And then next up, we have a product from Bliss. And this is their Pore Patrol Deep Detox for Clay Souffle Mask. This is a clay mask, so it's going to really help cleanse the skin and minimize the look of pores. So we've got that, which I definitely would... I, that I would target more on the areas where I have larger pores. So I would multi-mask with it, like do like a moisturizing mask or hydrating mask around. And then focus that one on my T-zone where I have my largest pores. <gasps> Tula's in here. Tula is in here. And you guys know how much I love Tula. Oh my gosh, we have it. Keep it clear acne foam cleanser. I have so many of these because they've always hooked me up in PR. But I'm still stoked to see Tula in here because I want more people to try out Tula. I love Tula. How many times can I say Tula? <laughs> but this is bomb. This is so exciting. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's got like just really cool packaging. And their products never disappoint. And this is such a Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So shout out to Tula, you guys. I love their 24 seven moisturizer, so good. Um, next up, oh my God, we have an eyeshadow from Kat Von D. I haven't seen Kat Von D in so long. I think I saw that she's going through a rebranding. I'm not entirely sure. Comment down below if I'm right or wrong on this. But they have, but we have the Lolita eyeshadow. I love the Lolita liquid lipstick that she has. So it looks like we have an eyeshadow here, which is really pretty. I think this was, oh my gosh, you know what this throws me back to? When Jaclyn Hill did the most beautiful, like smoky eyes back in the day, like I could see her throwing this into the crease and using like a black shade on the lid and letting it like, you know, just blend out into this color. Like she did the most beautiful smoky eyes back in the day. She made it look so easy too. Yeah, I could totally see that with Jaclyn Hill. Um, but this is what the shade looks like. Ugh, the formula is really, really nice, you guys. It blends out beautifully. I could definitely see that look being created. Then we have, ooh, we have this little set from Billion Dollar Brows, the best brow kit ever. So you get a little bit of everything in here. This is very unique. I've never seen anything like this in a subscription box but this is really cool. You get the eyebrow pencil, the spoolie, the highlighter and concealer, the brush that you can use to help carve them out, and then a brow setting gel. Definitely going to try this out. I think this is a great kit right here. This is awesome. Then last but not least, we have the Palm Springs Dream palette, and I think I have this all ready, to be honest. So I'm not gonna swatch it. Yeah, I already have this one. So. These are the colors. I think they are beautiful. You have a lot of browns in here that are definitely wearable for every day, but then you have some pops of colors in here that if you want to do that pop of color, boom, you can, you can add that in there. I mean, gosh, I also, yeah. I remember this shade right here, this coral shade. I love popping that one into my crease. And I like the Too Faced shadows. I think they're great and I think they're easy to use. So it's awesome that you got such a good palette in here. I'm gonna save that one for a giveaway because I already do have it in my collection, but they killed it. They killed it on this box. This box was a good box. It's like they said, don't care about the regular box of charm, but we wanna focus on the premium. But they did, they killed it with the premium. Box of charm, thumbs up on the premium box. I'm impressed. All right, so for the last box that we have is the Boxy Charm or Boxy Lux. And you guys, oh, I've already peeked in it and I saw one product and I'm so excited. Okay, if you guys know me, you know my love for LMS. Like I have loved LMS for so long and we have the Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil in here. It is a soothing facial oil. It helps for fine lines, wrinkles. Oh my God, it helps soothe and nourishes the skin and helps smooth it out. Their oils are awesome. They have like a collagen, um, a marine collagen one. They have so many different kinds. I can just smell the roses with this one. It smells so luxurious and it retails for $79, which 
I know, Elemis is not cheap, but their stuff is so good. <sighs> that is amazing. That's already a huge win for me. I love that. Okay, so next up we have the Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. And this is from In Beauty. I've never heard of this brand before. And it says that this is an energizing face mist that is a pick-me-up you need to get through the day and night. Special bi-phase formula instantly activates and transforms as you shake it. Oh, I can see the particles in it. And then um, it says that, oh, it helps even the look of redness, blotchiness, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and dullness. So this will be a fun way to like a fun new product to try out. So you just spray it on your face as a little fresh, you know, just freshen up the makeup throughout the day. And then we have rituals. And this is the Ritual of Sakura. Secura, and this is a sensational foaming shower gel. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a dry shampoo, but no, it's a shower gel. I love the way that it looks like it. Like this would look nice in my shower. You know how some stuff just doesn't look that pretty? This will look pretty in my shower. <laughs> so it's an organic rice milk and cherry blossom. This looks really nice. I've never had a foaming shower gel before. So this will be interesting to try out. And then next up, we have a Too Faced Melted Matte. This is their liquefied matte longwear lipsticks. These are amazing. This one is in Cool Girl, which I believe is one of my favorite shades. It's a really pretty nude. Yeah, it's a gorgeous nude. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, this is like the perfect 90s nude right here. I love this. This is gorgeous. I love that. And then, so that's a win because this is a very wearable shade. All right, so next up we have the Ciate London Marbled Light Illuminating Blusher. And this is in the shade, let's see. This is in the shade Dusk right here. It's a really pretty blush. It reminds me a lot of the one that we actually got in the Ipsy Glam bag that, remember how it left a really pretty sheen? I wonder if it's the same product but a different shade but that looks really really pretty it looks a little bit different because I feel like this one doesn't have as much of a sheen as the other one did but that's a really pretty blush this is something that I would totally use I love that color and then oh my gosh look at this we got a fairy tale storybook cosmetics and it's an eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, this is so cool. It looks like a little storybook. This is so neat. Oh, how fun. Let's swatch a couple of the shades. So we have Prince. So here's like this cobalt blue. It looks like it's just like really popping on camera. Ooh, wow. There's that one. And then we have Spindle, which is like totally like a really pretty muted cool tone pink. I don't know if you guys, yeah, it's going to see it right here. So there's that swatch. These are really pretty and that's a, such a cool packaging too. That is so neat. I really like this. Okay. Box Charm is killing it again. I'm very stoked. Oh yes. From Fresh, we have their soy face cleanser. This is their like staple, their holy grail, like well-known product at Fresh is their soy face cleanser. It's a great simple cleanser to use. Awesome. And then we have a QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector. It's a lip serum. It's formulated exclusively for the upper lip area. Lip Line Corrector targets fine lines and wrinkles. This high performance lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother youthful appearance. This is something to definitely keep on your nightstand and you put it on like every night and every morning. I think that would do wonders. I'm gonna be doing that. I always have like my little bag of lip products and I kinda like pick out which one I wanna use for the night, but I always lather my lips every single night that I get into bed. And then last but not least, we got another Kat Von D product here and this is the Dagger Tattoo Liner. Waterproof liquid liner, I've never tried this. It's in Trooper, so it's black. I've never tried this one. I love her tattoo liner. That's like my favorite. Oh, this is interesting. It's got, it's got an angle to it. That is so interesting. Oh, I don't know if I like this one. It's like a brush tip and I'm not the, I'm not that thrilled with like those kind of brush tips. 
Um, I think it's going to be a little harder to make that really sharp edge. But, sorry, I just went crazy with it. I just wanted to try it out. So, I think it's neat. But I still have to say, I think her tattoo liner is still my favorite when it comes down to her liquid liners. Big thumbs up to the BoxyCharm Premium and BoxyCharm Luxe. I think they killed it. It is so hard. I feel like I was most disappointed with the regular BoxyCharm out of any of the boxes, like out of Ipsy and BoxyCharm definitely was the most disappointed from the first one. But the last two were so good, were so good. Wow, blown away. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite this month. Let me know if you guys get Ipsy or if you get BoxyCharm or if you get both of them. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, just leave all those comments down below and we'll talk there. And I hope you guys enjoy this IGTV and I will see you guys in another one. Bye.